Ladies and gentlemen, finally we have some big news about season 4 and I didn't want to make a negative video but I think that's exactly what's going to happen right now because the news are... yeah, you'll see in just a second. I'm gonna go through this uh, article and of course the links to this are available in the description of this video but uh, the biggest thing that's going to uh, happen in season 4 apparently is just changing some numbers uh m plus 20 that we're currently running is just going to be m plus 10 so they're just subtracting 10 from the numbers and they're going to make heroic a little bit harder they're going to make uh, m0 a little bit harder and the loot is going to scale with all of that but if you read through all of this and it's a, actually a long pause but it's just a lot of dust in your face it basically changes the number of the dungeon that you're playing but the difficulty is just going to be the same. So when you're going and you're pushing your keys, instead of seeing plus 22, you're going to see plus 12, and that's all that there is to it. And this is actually very, very disappointing. Um, the dungeons, there's a little chart here, basically the, the dungeons from uh, M plus zero to M plus 10 are going to disappear. You're going to get the same loot from Heroic and M plus zero, but that does not matter at all for people who play M plus regularly because personally, I'm not a very good player, but I haven't run anything below M plus 10 ever since the beginning of the expansion in season one. So um, unless I was starting like a brand new ult or something, um, then I would just basically start from M plus 10 and just go up from there. Um, so from that perspective, that change is something that I'm not going to feel at all. Um, unless it's like the very start of the next expansion and even then it's going to be active for just a couple of weeks when i'm going to do maybe a heroic and m plus uh, uh one or two and then it's, it's gonna be that right then you're still gonna be running and pushing the keys into the higher spectrum of uh, m plus now what they're saying is that they're making these changes so new players can actually get more involved into m plus is this going to work for them maybe we don't know uh we also don't care uh because we're getting now four five six more months of season four with the same crap that we're doing so far with just a different number up front now there is some meat there are some changes that are actually significant and uh, make a difference uh the biggest one is actually that the affixes are getting switched a little bit so um basically the first affix fortified tyrannical you're going to get a plus two which compared to difficulty the current difficulty is going to be a plus 11 but then you're getting the next affix at plus 5 and then the last one at plus 10 that basically means that you're getting the third affix at the current plus 20 level so uh you're basically going to get the third affix at the point where you're actually starting to push keys beyond the point where they actually give you a better reward uh, again that's also something that for people who regularly play m plus and are pushing 20s makes absolutely no difference because we always play with the three affixes right so uh that's not going to change the affixes are still going to be there there's going to be no seasonal affix uh, etc um and then the other big change is uh, basically the loot system um you're still going to get the same gear basically from a uh, plus 10 the only big difference is that there's going to be no more well playing crests in mythic plus and everything else is just going to scale so maybe all of that means that if you're gearing new oats uh, the process is going to be a little bit quicker. Uh, you'll be getting better gear from Heroic, etc. But again, this is something that you do for a week or two. And then you're up to the keys that uh, you were playing previously with just a different number. So uh, those changes to me are basically no changes at all, right? Just changing a number doesn't make uh, a big difference um, throughout the season that lasts three, four, five months long, uh, etc. Now, uh, the other big news is that we are actually getting back the uh, dungeons from Dragonflight in Season 4. And to me, that's another very, very big disappointment because, honestly, these dungeons suck. Or at least most of them. Uh, Asia Vault had such a tight timer, although they increased it potentially. Uh, but I, I never wanted to push this key just because of that sole reason, not to mention the second boss, which was very chaotic. Wholesome Infusion is just bad god forbid if you die in there it's probably better to zone on and go do another dungeon because that's going to be faster than running back to your body very bad design not good offensive i just hate flying around on the dragons um and that gets boring too quickly it's a very long dungeon as well um i think it was at about 40 minutes which 
we're basically not used to anymore. Uh, Ruby Life Pool is very good design, but uh, what can I say? It's not very bug, bug friendly, so uh, that break, breaks a lot of keys. Also not looking forward to that. And Udeman, Udeman should be thankful that there was more zone tries this season, so it's not the worst dungeon in the expansion, but it's uh, obviously very close to second. Um, so all of these things, um, all of these dungeons, like I'm, I'm not looking forward to playing them again. We've been there, we've seen them, and there were better dungeons this season. Uh, obviously, um, some of these are just something that, that I just don't want to revisit, right? It's just uh, that bad. Uh, there is some light at the end of the tunnel, though, because uh, over here they mentioned that the new dungeons and the raids will have some new twists. They don't do not mention what those twists are going to be, but maybe we'll get some uh, different kinds of uh, loot at the end, some kind of progression or something. That's the only hope that I have that could save the season, but we don't know what that's going to be uh, yet. So I'm just going to remain in the uh, very disappointment uh, camp. Uh, the other very bad news, and it's all bad news here, is that the affixes are supposedly going to be here to stay and there's going to be no changes to them. That means that uh, the bolstering and the incorporeal, which are very badly designed for this current season, are going to stay. I'm also very disappointed that Blizzard acknowledged that Afflicted is a problematic affix and it's going to remain in the game for second season in a row. They're not making changes to it. And this is this is just unacceptable. Um, so I really hope that I'm very wrong about all of these. Do let me know what you think about these uh, changes in the comments below. Do you agree with them? Do you think they're going to be good? Do you think they're going to be bad? What's your, what's your position? Uh, but... Um, that's actually not the announcement I was hoping for season four, uh, because uh, obviously uh, right now I'm just wondering why should I do all of this since I've done it again. There's going to be nothing changing apart from a number in front of the dungeon being different. Um, you know, we've been there, we've done this crap, I didn't enjoy it, and now I have to do it again. Like, why play it all? Um, the whole expansion, Dragonflight, was supposed to be much better than Shadowlands. Um, it was supposed to bring us more content. That didn't happen. We had four seasons to, uh, back in Shadowlands with a fated season, which is basically what we're getting right now. So this is going to be exactly the same. Uh, they were supposed to listen to more feedback and fix things, but we still got things like Mores on Trice, which was very badly designed. There was a lot of feedback that was kind of some of it was listened to, but not all of it. The affixes are still here, they're not getting changed. The community was consistently calling for revamp of the whole Mythic Plus system, and this is obviously not it. Like, changing a number is not a revamp of, of a system, right? So, as Dragonfight was supposed to be so much better than Shadowlands, I don't think it actually was, uh, and it might be just a huge disappointment uh, at the end with everything that happened. But again, do let me know what you think in the comments below and hopefully you're going to get more news soon which is going to shred some lights on some of the things that we still don't know and maybe salvage, salvage a little bit uh, what's going to happen in Season 4. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye and take care.